Good day gents, uh, my name is Marin and welcome to my new video. In today's video I'm gonna talk about crypto terms and abbreviations. What that means? I'm pretty sure that all of you uh, who are new in crypto don't understand many of these crypto terms. So if you want to know more, we will cover 40 of them. As you already know, I'm not financial advisor. So everything what you're gonna hear in this video is just and only for educational purposes. So before we start, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It helps a lot. As there is many of these terms, I try to cover them in alphabetic order. So without wasting your time anymore, let's get started. So first one will be an address. What is an address? An address is string that functions as a place where individuals can send, store or buy their cryptocurrencies. It is like a telephone number. Every crypto uh, address is unique. Altcoin means all cryptocurrencies which are not Bitcoin or in some context Ethereum. The phrase is used uh, to describe many other cryptocurrencies which are on the market. ATH is cryptocurrency abbreviation for all time high. Crypto assets are so volatile, so uh, keeping in mind their all time high can prove their real value. A digital currency could possibly hit several local highs before it is moving to all time high. Bear of bearish believe that asset like for example a digital currency will decline in value. When you heard that people are talking on the uh, YouTube videos or wherever around, if you're reading also on the web, that market is bearish, that means basically that all market is crashing down. Uh, how far it is crashing, this is just a matter of uh, many factors, but just bear in mind that bearish means that market is dropping down. Bitcoin maximalist refers to a person which thinks that Bitcoin is only cryptocurrency which have some kind of value. Blockchain which consists of series of blocks is a digital ledger of all verified transactions made on particular cryptocurrency. Blocks make up a blockchain and each block carries a historical database of all the transactions conducted on a crypto until it becomes full. Bullish phrase means that traders are believing that digital assets will rise in value. Bullish actually means frame of minds when a uh, market is going up or you are very positive about uh, some cryptocurrency or any digital asset. Coins are any cryptocurrency with the standalone uh, independent blockchain. Uh, examples are uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum or XRP and so on. In the other hand, tokens are cryptocurrencies which don't have their own uh, blockchain technology. They are living on another blockchain. As they live on another uh, blockchain technology, uh, they have uh, benefits for it. TApp is a short name for decentralized application, meaning any practical application of a blockchain or cryptocurrencies. The app can take a form of uh, mobile games or even communication platform or social media site and so on. DeFi is just a short 
uh, for decentralized finance. The most popular DeFi projects are the centralized exchange protocols, which automate the exchange of cryptocurrencies among buyers and sellers, eliminating need for a middleman. Dior, and it's not of course Christian Dior, uh, Dior means do your research. Dior is a common phrase between uh, cryptocurrency enthusiasts. When somebody asks you, for example, which coin to buy and keep, you can just tell him Dior. Exchange sites are just uh, marketplaces where traders can make digital currency transactions. So Binance, Coinbase, Crypto.com, uh, KuCoin, this is all examples of exchange market. Fiat is a term for digital uh, currency issued by any government, like US dollar or euro. Fiat is uh, usually currency controlled by central authority and Bitcoin is completely decentralized. This is a difference. In the cryptocurrency term FOMO means fear to missing out. This is usually happening on the market when people are buying some asset which is rapidly growing up and then they are thinking that they're gonna miss the chance or opportunity to buy it on the low price. A fork is when a cryptocurrency or blockchain based network splits in two distinct projects with their own code and set of governing principles. There is a term of soft fork and the hard fork. Soft fork will be when only one blockchain remains operational and the hard fork is when there is two completely new blockchains. Food or FUD is a term for fear, uncertainty and doubt. This is usually happening where big whales or some uh, big cryptocurrency individuals in the term of money wants to lead you and they are sharing a fear or greed. Depends are they are selling or buying. So they are leading market in the certain ways. Gas is a cost of computing power when completing transactions on the Ethereum network, Ethereum blockchain, which gets passed on the network, participants in the form of fees. Halving refers to one of the most anticipated events for Bitcoin. It is a process of uh, halving a reward of mining Bitcoin after around 200,000 blocks. This is usually taking up to four years. Halving is to make sure that uh, number of Bitcoin in circulation does not increase exponentially. Hash rate is a measure of computing and processing power used in crypto mining. The process of obtaining a cryptocurrency is through powerful computers and specially designed softwares. A higher hash rate indicates a more robust network. HODL is not misspelling, it is a slang. According to the internet legend, when early adopters was chatting between themselves, one guy uh, misspelled the word HOLD and instead of that uh, he sent HODL. And since that, this term is in use for holding your cryptocurrency tight. Like you have a market these days rapidly dropping down, then the old cryptocurrency users, which are quite long in this industry, they are using this hodl word for keeping your 
cryptocurrency. Do not sell it, just hodl it. ICO stands for Initial Coin Offering. That was a method for uh, some new companies or uh, startups uh, to secure their funds. Pretty much anyone can uh, participate in uh, ICO. It's about to finding a right fit for investors and some new founders. ICO explode in their popularity in uh, 2017 and 2018 when most people invest in them. Just bear in mind that uh, most of these schemes were pump and dump and plenty of people lose their money. KYC is compliance cryptocurrency term which stands for know your customer. It will probably come up if you uh, choose uh, to take mainstream cryptocurrency approach. Purchase uh, crypto with a fiat currency. This is the exchanges, for example, which they uh, required your identity prior uh, that you uh, go to their sites and uh, or exchanges and start trading with the money. But if you are, for example, on the uh, blockchain wallet or any uh, trust wallet, they don't require KYC. Market cap is uh, short for market capitalization, which is a cryptocurrency term for total market value. The market cap uh, for Bitcoin, for example, is the number of uh, BTC outstanding multiplied by digital currencies price. Mining is a process which new cryptocurrencies are minted. Many cryptocurrencies depends of proof of work mining system, whereby computational power is delegated towards solving complex math riddles as a way to simultaneously secure and power a net while also minting a new tokens. An NFT or non-fungible token is a digital asset that confers ownership of a virtual good such as piece of digital artwork or online collectibles. Most cryptocurrencies are fungible, which means they are not related to each other at, in any way. But for example, if you are buying some NFTs and these days you will see on the internet crazy things about these NFTs, uh, people are buying most of these digital arts or assets and uh, uh, some of them are of course connected. There is plenty of these uh, NFTs which are related within the sports. So you will find, for example, that uh, NFT of uh, Michael Jordan uh, doesn't have the same value uh, as a NFT or Kai Irving. This is as simple as that. NFT was culminating last year, in, uh, I mean 2021, when the uh, market cap uh, hit 69 billion of dollars. This is sounds crazy. Newcomers are frequently described as noobs by industry insiders. If you are and this person, you may want to sit back and observe before you jump in with a boat feet. Digital currencies are highly volatile, so you should do your own research before you put any money in. Private keys are super important string of numbers and letters which you should never share with anyone. If someone can access your private key, you're gonna lose all of your money. It's simple as that. If you, for example, forget your login details, that's not a problem because you still have a private key. But if you lose your uh, private key phrase, you're gonna lose all of your funds because you don't have a login details and you don't have a private key details. Pump and dump is a form 
of price manipulation where the price of crypto is boosted based on false recommendation which is pump before the assets are sold on the higher price which is of course is dump so be careful of this this is happening very very often on the market wrecked is a slang for wrecked it's a quite similar word which means that you are screwed nothing else this is used when a trader losses substantial amount of money satoshi means one of two things first one is that he is a japanese samurai no he is not i'm just kidding the first one will be that he is a founder of Bitcoin who disappear as a mystery man. He basically vanished after Bitcoin establishment. Satoshi is also a value of Bitcoin. Like we have a sense in a fiat currency of, for example, US dollar. We have also uh, Satoshis when we are talking about the cents. So it is 0 0.00001 uh, Bitcoin. So any part which is starting from 0, 0.000 something we call this part of the bitcoin satoshi stable coins are coins which are not affiliated with the uh, volatility of crypto markets stable coins usually don't change in value same as a fiat currency they are more like flat they are always on the same level. There is many stable coins on the market like USDT, which is Tether, USDC coin, TrueUSD and so on. Why exchanges are using stable coins? Just to regulate a market. What that means? That means that uh, stable coins are covered on these exchanges with a fiat currency usually. Uh, so one US dollar is one USDC stable coin for example some of these stable coins are also covered with the gold on some exchanges and some of them are covered also with the bonds usually regulations these days are that all stable coins supposed to be covered with the US dollar if someone said to the moon that person means that some cryptocurrency will fly to the moon or usually they are posting these rocket emojis. They think that price of that uh, cryptocurrency is going to see a huge increase. You need to be careful on the YouTube videos because there is plenty of people are putting these click bite uh, videos and they are attracting you to buy something. This is quite dangerous and don't do that. Do research before you are buying any coin or any crypto assets in general. A token refers for a unit of a digital currency like, for example, Bitcoin. What is the difference between trading and investing? Investors seek to generate return over a more extended period. We are talking about minimum of five years, sometimes even about decades. Traders, on the other hand, they are trying to take advantage of a market volatility and they try to get money in the short period of time. Which one is better? Which one is, let me say, more suitable to you? That is up to you to decide. But before you uh, become an experienced trader, do not put too much money in investment. A cryptocurrency wallet is basically simple as our physical wallet. It's a place to store tokens. But not all crypto wallets are make equal. There is a difference between them. There are hot wallets and cold wallets. What is the difference? Hot wallets are online and they are easy accessible for transaction but also you can get hacked more easily than when you are keeping money in the cold wallet which is 
offline. But in the cold wallet, your funds are not accessible for immediate transaction. But you are, of course, safe from hackers. White paper is a document which generally offer comprehensive information about digital token or coin in question and its underlying technology. The white paper you're gonna find on any uh, web page of any coin or token. Uh, so if you click on the Bitcoin or Ethereum or Cardano, you will find all information which you need to know about their projects. Uh, if you find that project is suitable for you, only after that you invest your money in. If you believe in that project, of course. Alright gents, that's everything which I have for you this time. Please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. As you can see, I'm spending a lot of time to record this video and I got you covered. Have a good day and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.